gonna say, uh, I'm surprised that uh, Kidman is still working for Mobius after we just got done playing her DLC in her story. Is this? If you guys like supernatural and psychological stuff, you guys, I'm coming, Lily. this this game is the definition. You guys are gonna love it. I know it's hard to accept Myra, but she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No, no, I'll never accept it. If you won't help me. I'll find out the truth on my own. What the hell is this place? It's the lighthouse again. Detective, we've got a call. All units, all units, 1199. Exploit cover code 3, Beacon Metro Hospital. This isn't the Beacon Hospital anymore, Sebastian. This is this old detective desk. I don't think Sebastian works it as a uh, detective anymore. I think he got fired. I can't remember. What the? Hello, Sebastian. Are you there? Kidman. What? Snap out of it, Sebastian. You made it in safely. How are you feeling? Terrible. Like the worst hangover ever. Don't worry. It will pass once your mind has adjusted. You're in an area separate from the main system right now. That's how we're able to maintain communication with you. This construct is called your room. It's a safe zone that was formed from your own memories. My memories, huh? If that's the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your self-conscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I see. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily, too. Union? This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing, too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. Now come on now, Sebastian. You know that ain't right. Now you know if <laughs> you know when you was in STEM the first time, you wanted help. <laughs> you wanted to get out of there. Come on, man, chill out. We gotta save these folks. They're looking for your daughter. They're trying to help. Now, um, if you don't know what uh, STEM is, uh, I'm not gonna go too much into it because you know they kind of cover it in the first game, like I said. But Mobius. Are they good or bad? I don't really I can't I don't really know. I don't really know because they want they they have good intentions, but it's it's almost kinda like how can I say it? You know, they're trying to do something good for the world, but they're doing wicked and crazy evil things to try and achieve their objective, if you know what I mean. I don't want to go too much into it, we'll be here all day. But uh, that's why I'm surprised Kidman is still working for him after she figured out uh, all the sick stuff that they did in the DLC. Baker, team leader. He's the guy I should try to find first. Okay. Harrison, combat specialist, huh? Hopefully he can take care of himself. We'll see. Now, I love this game. O'Neill. They must not have been expecting trouble if they sent in all these technicians. <laughs> He's gonna be freaking out. Sykes. The tech. But at least he has some small arms training. Yeah, but he's black, so he's probably dead. 
And this girl, she's pretty cute, so she's probably alive. Hoffman. <laughs> and surveillance. This one could be cagey. I mean, am I wrong or am I right? That's how most of our movies go. Black guy dies first. Cute girl always survive. Unless there's two cute girls and one of them has to go. <laughs> the nervous guy. Polly always, somewhat, always kind of make it, but kind of dies at the end. The team leader Polly dies second after the black guy, and then this guy Polly makes it out alive. <laughs> and takes the girl with him. Union, huh? Looks like any town, USA. It was designed that way to keep the test subjects calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. The exact opposite of Beacon. What happened at Beacon was beyond our control. It doesn't seem like you've got much control this time either. Look, I don't know what you're going to encounter in there. If you need information, I'd suggest you try talking to some of the locals. Hold on. Is it? Is it thundering in the game or in real life? Man, thunder, is it? <laughs> I think it might be the game. You know, canvas the area. Just like you told me back at KCPD. You were never a real detective, Kidman. And you're not a detective anymore. Ooh. So let's try to do some detecting anyway, okay? Ooh. <laughs> My first commendation. Feels like another lifetime. I guess because it was. You know, I think I don't really drew this picture of me. It was burned up along with everything else in the house. I think um I know I'm gonna be doing some reading of uh some documents and stuff that we find. I just wanna say that man, when are we gonna to get to the time? Like I don't mind reading. I love reading. But I don't mind um, you know, reading stuff. But when are we gonna to get to the point where games I don't ever remember owning <laughs> Kidman does. That's that same cat too. Hey, look, there she is right there. That look like some of the uh some promotional art of Kidman. Some wallpapers and stuff that you can unlock in the game. That's really nice, okay. What was I think? Oh yeah, um I can't wait till we get to a point, hopefully, maybe one day in the future, we get to the point where all video games, when they have text, they'll the character will just read it. I mean I don't mind reading, but I feel like it kind of takes time. Uh, projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school? I don't know if I'll be able to find all the slides. I think I might have to. Run it from a pre-phone camera era. Pre-phone camera era. Yeah, slides. I've never had one, but but our teacher did. Let's see if we can. Uh, I think that's how we. I think that's how we travel. We had to get the slides. I think the slides are so important. Oh. Kidman, you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. They would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. Our whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay, I get it. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never had a family to lose. You and killed Joseph! You me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost. Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. I care about that booty. Hey, some brain gel. Like I said, we're gonna be playing with some cheese and stuff. I'm just here to have some fun. I'm more like my my channel is mostly when we're playing a game, we're mostly in it for the story. Not too much the challenge. I mean I might do some channel videos, maybe. I don't know. Because like if I do a challenge video, that may not have to beat the game first to get the story out of the way and then replay the game to do a challenge or whatever. Now, if it comes to a game that I know how to play very well, I might just start the challenge video the first time. A mirror. Just like Beacon. Should be a way out. Oh. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? 
because this is more stylish. Here we go again. Into the looking glass. The looking glass. Blue Skadoo, Weekend 2. Chapter 2. Something not quite right. Sound like something Goofy will say. Hmm, something wrong here. <laughs> oh no. Lily, what's wrong? My doll's head is broke. It's okay. Mom can fix it for you. She can fix anything. What was the wife name again? Myra? Come here, Myra. Myra. For some reason, I thought it was Nicole. You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Are you sure you're not coming down with something? Where did I get Nicole from? Nicole. Whose wife that I know is Nicole? Oh, Gumball. <laughs> what was it, what's the show called? The Adventures of Gumball? Yeah. Gumball's mom is Nicole. That's her name. <laughs> That's where I got to name that name from. I don't know why. The right place. I thought her name was Nicole. Oh, wow. Ooh, pitch black. Okay. Let's get it started and now. The first time I played this game, I couldn't get the controller to work. What the? Hmm. Right, the first time I couldn't, I couldn't get the uh, controller to work, and I had to play the whole game and uh, PC controls. Now I'm not saying anything bad about PC controls, but I'm not all that great with it because I was like, I was born up on um, console and like controllers and stuff, PlayStation. A little bit of Xbox, uh, but since I got like the laptop and stuff, I've been playing a few games with PC controls, and I'm okay with it, but I'm not all that great. And so playing this game was kind of hard the first time. So now that I'm playing this game again, and I finally got the controller to work, I should have a more uh, enjoyable time, I guess. I don't understand how you PC players do it, man. It's just like, man, my hand get cramped after like a minute or so, you know? Wow, this game looks so good. Oh, hey, you got a flashlight. That's great. What's wrong with that door? Now, this game do have a lot of stuff to read. I'm not gonna read too much, just some of the most interesting stuff. Uh, it's got a lot of characters in it. That's pretty interesting, I think, too. I, I just think this game was, uh, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was uh, a very big improvement. Uh, it deserved to be called Demon Within 2 because, uh, you know, when you make a second game or something, a sequel, it's neat to be improved. And I think they did, they did just that. They did a good job. I don't know. I don't know what other people think about the game, though. What the hell? What? What are you looking at? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about this. How did I forget about this? That's... That's the leader. One of the search team. Baker. Oh, well. Well, we found him. He's the leader. Oh, well. Wow. Looks like he was shot in the head and put in slow motion when it happened. It's a work of art.
I must go in there. I gotta get a closer look. I wanna go behind him. Have his brain go splash on me, please. Sebastian, do this. Wow. You can hear him yell. Yes, here it comes. All over me, please. gun caused that much damage. I mean, that light just split his whole head open from the back. Was he shot with a shotgun? No, it's one bullet. How in the world hit back of his head come, <laughs> come out like that? Is there a gun that can do that that much damage to a human skin like that? I don't even think a revolver can do that, can it? Like, do that much damage? Look at that. Look, look. Look how big the wound is. It's almost like a football. But no, it's bigger than a football. Jesus Christ, a one bullet did that? I don't believe you. Game over. <laughs>